Alright guys, we got a little bit of surprising news to talk about here today. Because recently, Kenichiro Takaki, the creator of the Sinron Kagura series, uh, among other things, he did an interview with Famitsu Magazine in Japan and announced that after 13 years, he is leaving Marvelous to go work for Psy Games. Psy Games, which is best known for probably the Grand Blue Fantasy mobile game. Uh, now, if you read this interview, it, it's really depressing to read it, honestly, because he's talking about, you know, that one of the main reasons he's leaving is the recent trends towards censorship and restrictions on, like, sexual content and things. And he's talking about it like, you know, he's mentioned something snapped inside of him, and it's just, Sony's bullshit has done give this poor man an existential crisis, and <laughs> it's just sad to read about. But anyway, he is leaving, so uh, we do know that he has two more projects that are currently in the works at Marvelous, one of which is Senron Kagura 7, which we already knew about, and the other one is something that's totally unrelated to Senron Kagura, and I believe is a new IP that's getting both a game and an anime made of it. And he did confirm that he he is going to be sticking around with Marvelous long enough to complete both those projects. So, he is going to finish out Sinron Kagura 7. He is going to finish out this new thing before moving on. And he talked about that once he moves to Psy Games, he's going to be working on what he called an orthodox fantasy game uh, for consoles. Which is something that he's talked about wanting to do for a long time. Now, this leaves us with a lot of questions because, uh, for one thing, he cited the censorship bullshit as one of the reasons he's leaving. Now, this is a little odd because, for one thing, even if he goes to Psy Games or any other company, as long as he's still producing something for consoles, he's still going to be subject to those same restrictions. It's not like it's something that's exclusively with Marvelous or anything. And also, a lot of people are asking, you know, why doesn't he just switch to another platform, go to Switch or PC or what have you? Well, that's a good question. Uh, many are wondering if Marvelous is blocking him from switching platforms for some reason. Which, obviously, I don't know any inside information or anything, but I would find it really odd if Marvelous just suddenly wouldn't allow him to do anything but Sony games, considering the fact that Marvelous has already released multiple games on 3DS and Switch, including uh, two Sinron Kagura spinoff titles. So it seems odd that all of a sudden they'd get a stick up their ass about not letting him release 7 or any other SK games on other platforms. It could just be a money thing. Maybe, you know, they spent all this time and resources on developing 7 for PS4 and it would take so much extra funds to port it to another console that they don't want to invest that much money in it or something. The series sales have been dwindling over time. But regardless, uh, as far as the future of the series goes beyond 7, uh, it's really iffy right now because... Uh, I looked it up and tried to get a straight answer, and I couldn't really find one, but I'm pretty sure that Marvelous at least partially owns the IP for Sinron Kagura. So I don't believe Takaki would be able to just release his own Sinron Kagura game with Psy Games or whoever else without Marvelous being involved. Um... Now, will Marvelous continue the series without Takaki there and just, you know, put someone else in charge of it? Or will they continue to work with Takaki as sort of a, you know, a consultant or something uh, for just the Center on Kagura titles? I think anything's possible at this point. It seems like Seven was meant to sort of wrap up the ongoing storyline that started with Estival Versus. So, at least from a narrative standpoint, if the series is going to end after 7, at least it would be sort of a conclusive point to stop at. Now, obviously, I hope it doesn't end because I'm a big fan of this series. But, 
right now there's really no way to tell you know what direction they're going to end up going in uh, we also don't know what this means for any of the other series that he's worked on with Marvelous, such as Valkyrie Drive. I haven't seen many people mentioning Valkyrie Drive, but I think Marvelous partially owns that, too. And I was hoping we'd get another Valkyrie Drive game, since I enjoyed the first one on Vita, and we haven't gotten the second one yet. So, that's probably at least less likely of happening now, too. But he is going to side games. He is working on a new console fantasy game that uh, isn't going to be as fan servicey as his titles are known for. Uh, which I think also is probably another one of the driving reasons that he's leaving, besides just the censorship. Since he's probably so frustrated from dealing with Sony's bullshit that... You know, he took this as a good opportunity to strike out and do something else that he's wanted to do for a long time. At least that's the way I sort of interpreted it when I read it. Uh, which, link in the description, by the way, for all this if you want to read through it yourself. Uh, but I am looking forward to seeing the new game that he's going to be working on. Uh, Psy Games is mainly known for making mobile titles, but he has confirmed that the one he's going to be working on is a console game and not a mobile game, which makes me happy because I'm not a mobile game fan at all. But, yeah, so this is definitely a shock. I didn't expect him to outright leave. Uh, I do respect his decision, especially since, you know, he's being forced to deal with a lot of things that he doesn't want to do and he doesn't want to have to you know, compromise his artistic vision in order to meet the needs of all these people. So, I still have a lot of respect for Takaki. I'm still looking forward to, you know, whatever he makes in the future. I th definitely think the video games industry needs more people like him and more minds like him. So, good luck to him and everything he's going to do in the future, but this does definitely make me worry about the future of not just Senran Kagura, but Valkyrie Drive and generally just any sort of fan servicey etchy titles at all in the future. Since, you know, the market isn't exactly welcoming of these kind of titles right now. But anyway, I guess that's all I got to say. So, lots of luck to you and yours.